Hey guys, welcome to the Fightish channel. Former World Heavyweight Champion Berman Stewart believes that for the formidable American puncher Dante Wilder, there is only one point left in a duel with Anthony Joshua. I think the only fight left for Wilder in terms of money is the fight with Joshua. I don't think there are actual fights for him besides that. It also depends on how Joshua returns. If he beats Usyk, it will be worth it, and if not, it no worth it. Else I will take my words back. It might be worth it, since they will both be coming back after the defeat. So this fight should be watched. Other than that, I don't see anyone else. As for me, Wilder doesn't have to prove anything to anyone. Since he took the title away from me, Dante has done a great job, holding it for 5 or 6 years. Now it's Tyson Fury's turn, Steven told the Planet Sports website. Ex-absolute heavyweight Lennox Lewis jokingly suggested that the current WBC champion Tyson Fury wouldn't have coped with him if they had met in the ring, each in the prime of life. The veteran was asked about this on the talk TV channel. Lennox, 56, who has not boxed for almost 20 years, said it was a lot. I refuse to answer such an easy question. Listen, Tyson Fury is a great champion. He moves well and hits hard. He has a great job. And now an uppercut. And all he has to do is clean up the division, as I did in my time, and beat the next generation, said Lewis. Friends, before starting to watch this video, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel. If you really enjoy the content, then please subscribe to my channel and keep watching the videos. If you are subscribed, then receive notifications about the release of new videos. You do not even have to look for anything personally. I really want to get 10,000 subscribers on my channel. I'm trying very hard absolutely every day and I need your support. Your likes, comments, reposts to social networks. Thanks to everyone who subscribes to my channel, you are my support. Thank you so much. Immediately after defeating Dillian White, WBC champion Tyson Fury announced his retirement. However, many fans still do not believe the words of the Gypsy King, perceiving them as another joke. The reason for the distract to viewers and experts is that early Tyson expressed great interest in a unification fight with the winner of the Usyk Joshua rematch. But suddenly, for no reason, he changed his mind. Plus, the Gypsy King has already officially announced that he will arrange a fight against UFC champion Francis Ngannou, but in 2023. A logical question arises, and what will Fury do all this time? WBC decided not to play these games and asked the Britain to make a decision this week and inform their management so that they would release a fighter from championship duties and begin organizing a fight for a vacant title. In the other case, if Tyson stays, they will determine the next contender for him. Interestingly, the first place in the ranking is now occupied by former champion Dante Wilder. And early Tyson Fury said that he would be glad when the bronze bomber returned his belt. The second and third lines are occupied by Joseph Joyce and Joseph Parker respectively. They will soon come together in a face-to-face -face confrontation and can determine both a new champion and an official contender for the title. In general, we will soon find out the true plans of Tyson. Knowing the unpredictability of the Gypsy King will not be surprised at all if he really leaves the title. The reason name is worth much more now than some titles. Therefore, he will be able to sell any fight against a fighter like Nagano at any time and in any place. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I really want to get 10,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel.